Welcome to Cavmaster Software. Today we're going to show you how to modify an existing template or create a new template. First thing, if you want to create a new template, you need to start without a library running. So when you get the first screen, you say, uh, it's got the library in the top right hand corner, you say no. When it starts up to here, it's going to say, are you sure I want to have no library, um, default library? No, I don't want to do a default library either. In this case, I'm actually going to choose, um, oh look, I'm going to start with none, none, okay. So I would literally have no library loaded. I can actually come into here and start drawing lines and I wouldn't put a rectangle around it. You do that to put a box on the outside. The entire box is still selectable from the center. So what I do is actually grab a polyline and I'll actually draw individual lines and you can hold down shift to give you a straight line. And you can grab another one. Yes. So it'll snap to there. And this there can actually get it to start a new one. And it will actually snap to the same point. Start a new one. There we go. So we have the lines, we can get another line through here. You can, and you can put in markers and actually work out the, the heights and things as well. But the next bit is what I really want to show you. So you can do your design layout any way you like. Um, and what we also need to have, if you go down to options, make sure a template editing is still on. So you can edit your template. <clears throat> now, this is a, the new bit we've just added today, which is quite exciting. What we want to be able to do is we go to label. So all these variables you like to have on there. So you can actually go to, go to label and you can start typing things in. So I'm just going to go uh, format label. I'll delete what is in there for now. And I'm just going to start typing in some text. So I click on the board and I'm going to go door material or something like this. Oh, door master. Oh, crazy. I can't type today at all. Okay. So that's one of my reference flags. And you can put that wherever you like and you can move the arrow keys around to get it. But what I want to do is if you right click on here, we've got some default settings in here. If you go load, there's going to be even more of them. So I've got door material. So let's go for uh, doors lower material. Let's choose that one. And all I now need to do is click on that and that will choose the right material and you line it up. So the formula is actually now saved in the background of these labels. So I can actually go to any of these and I can start doing like an address, customer's address. Uh, so click, then place the address, um, choose the next one. Uh, I'll just go to load and we can go to suburb. Okay, click, put the suburb next to it load postcode so you can start putting these details in here anywhere you like and the other thing you can do most of them should be on the same height but you can actually go then once you've got them all in place you then go um, prepare resize labels pick new font and make sure you get this one here include template items and we can come into here and go okay I want them all to be Arial um, let's put them regular and let's put them all down to say seven you can, and you can type it in yourself as well so I go okay make sure it's ticked there it is okay and now everything's at the same font as well so once you do that you can then go and configure it all make sure it's all set up in the exact format you want in the places you want um, and I'm all I'm doing here I'm actually pre I'm holding a control and pressing the arrow arrow keys on the keyboard um, if you just press the arrow keys it does big jumps you press control on that and the arrow keys it does small movements so it makes it easy to get in place. And what you can also do, if you want to make it all nice and clean and tidy, um, the way I would normally do it is you can put in a marker. So you go insert a marker and you can zoom in down here and go, okay, I want a marker to be one here. And then I want to go up and I'm just going to start guessing now how wide it's going to be. Um, 10 millimeters up, no, let's go 150 millimeters. There you go. And you can just do those. And then all you do is you go, okay, this one here, this one I'm going to grab, snap to there. This one I'm going to grab, and what you can do, it's on the right hand side, but you can actually say no one on the left hand side. So now you can actually either put them together, or what you can do here is you can go give me another marker on that marker, and let's move 50 mil in that direction. And then let's go back to 150 mil and go down, 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 down. We delete the one we don't want down the bottom. That was the first test. 
and then you can just grab that material and go bang and they will always stay that distance apart so it's quite easy to do that um, and you can add in your own uh, and again you can get control D and duplicate that move it to the next one change this to um, door handle or whatever you want it to be you can make your own labels and then you right go back to annotate right click load and let's use uh, door handles okay and snap that will give me the door handles again set up your uh, material sizes it's quick and easy to start building your own templates now I'm just going to go file save as and we need to change this down the bottom to template then you need to change this to the template folder now we're just going to call this one new test save now what I'm going to do, I'm going to close down Cabmaster. Okay, so I'm restarting Cabmaster now. I'm starting with a library this time. And we're going to go to New Test and use Drawing Properties. Don't use Template Properties. Use Drawing Properties, hit OK. And you see we've got our templates here. We've started up. If I now go to Client, let's go choose... Um, oh, let's choose Julian. That will set up whatever information I have. I don't have a state for him set up. Uh, and if I go change the materials or handles or something like that, so door material, if I go change all the materials, um, what do we got in there? Antique white laminate. So let's change this to something silly. Olympia red. That you can see in the background that's just changed as well. And if we go change the handles as well, same sort of thing. Go to hardware. Um, let's change this to crossbar. And this to a D, and it's changed to a crossbar handle. So that's how you can actually get all of your formulas onto your labels now, onto your template now. But make sure you save the template without a library running. So this should be on none when you're doing that. So when you start Cabmaster, make sure you select none before you come into here. It has to be started on the on the uh, initial splash screen. On this screen, it has it at the top corner there. Thanks very much.